Are you striving for perfection? You know, the ultimate perfect result. And did you know this could be a huge problem? Well, let's check it out. Good evening. Are you striving for absolute perfection, the best result in doing something? Are you a real kind of pain in the ass perfectionist? Well, this can actually sort of work against you. What? Nothing wrong with wanting the absolute best outcome for a situation and really putting in the best effort and all that. But being a sort of a perfectionist in so many things can actually work against you because it can sort of stop you almost doing things in a, in a weird way. So that's what I want to talk about today. And also, whilst going down that route of not being a perfectionist, it's a very, very fine line between that and just half in it. So let's get into this. Right, so what do I mean? As I've always said, it's always important to kind of go 100% all in, almost to the level of being obsessed with something if you want to really achieve it, whether that's opening a business, doing the housework, whatever. Just like really put your absolute mental, obsessive, full effort in. Whatever you're doing, at work, home, anything. Because you're gonna get the best outcome for that particular thing. And also it's gonna make you feel amazing because you're gonna feel so proud of everything you've done because you really put all your effort in. Now, that, should not be confused with going for perfection. They're actually two very different things, but a very, very fine line between them. Still a it's such a fine line between stupid and, and clever. Yeah, it's just clever. Clever. Turn yeah. About. So let me explain why. Going for perfection, whilst the theory of it is perfect, perfect, ironically, it's fine because you, you know, you want the best outcome, you want the best result. So if you're, say, designing a website, you want it to be absolutely spot on perfect the way you wanted it to look, or if you're going gardening you want the garden to look absolutely perfect just ah, the best and in theory there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with going for that perfection however actual perfection is almost a bit of a sort of an unattainable thing because what is perfection it's firstly it's very subjective but secondly it's it's so perfect it's kind of almost hard to get to if you've got this idea in your mind you want this perfect result perfect outcome then that can often stop you from even starting and the example of that is say you're wanting you're starting a business and you're you've, you've got a website and you're kind of putting the website together now so many people so many people hopefully not you but you might recognize this that they kind of start doing the website or whatever you know that and they don't want to sort of launch the website or start the business until it's perfect and everything is completely 100 perfect which is absolute because firstly, and just make this clear, when you're starting out, you don't have to launch a website because nobody's looking for it. So you just make it live when you're building it, no one will find it because no one's looking for it. So you don't have to do this big launch. You know, if you're like McDonald's or Mercedes or a big brand, then people are visiting that website. So then you might want to sort of say, we've got our new website being launched on X date. But when you're starting a business and starting out, nobody's looking for your website. So don't feel you have to have this big kind of launch date. You can just sort of go live with it and then you can then tell people whenever you want. And so many people get hung up on this launch thing. And again, don't want to launch it until it's perfect. Now the problem is it will never be perfect because something like a website is constantly evolving and you're constantly adding things and tweaking things. All marketing is try it and see. See what works, see what doesn't work, get rid of that, do something else. And you're constantly amending things. And ideally every website should be constantly evolving and adding things, taking things off, that kind of thing. So it's never ever going to be perfect. So when you first launch it, launch it, it's gonna, it doesn't matter how sort of good it is. Obviously, you know, you want it to be in more than slightly coherent, but it doesn't have to be this full blown, super, super duper website because there's not that expectation because you don't have sort of an audience yet. And so that sort of yearning for perfection can often stop you from launching <laughs> the business or the website because you're going, well, I'm not going to do it until it's right, until I've got the font right, until I've got the pictures right and all that stuff. And it's kind of never happens or said launching, I keep saying launching, 
or starting a business and it's not online sort of it's that constant until I've got everything I've got all the stock I need I don't want to go live and there's this sort of until everything's perfect I don't want to do it and it can be an excuse but mainly it's that yearning for perfection because that feel well unless it's perfect I'm gonna get judged people are not gonna buy from me the business is gonna go kind of on its ass but it's it's that's not the case but this this feeling and this yearning for perfection can actually stop you from kind of doing or you think well I'm not too sure if I can do the garden to like such a good um, design or such a good way so I'm gonna wait until I watch a load of YouTube videos until I learn how to do it properly or whether that's knitting or sewing or anything you, you don't do it until you know that you can do it perfectly and that problem is it holds you back from actually ever starting so being a perfectionist can actually stop you from starting the thing in the first place and unless you start you'll never finish so you're in that constant kind of sort of cycle of I need to learn more etc so the quote is don't let perfection get in the way of good enough get to the th thing whether it's the website the business the you know garden whatever you're doing get to a point where it's good enough for what it needs to be and then fine and then you can improve it you can later on add some roses or whatever or if it's knitting later on then knit something better or you know whatever the thing is but basically you can improve things once they're there but unless you've got something you can't improve it so don't put off doing something for a perfectionist aspect just do something till it's good enough for what you want and then later on you can do another one you can improve it improve it improve it but you can't improve nothing another great quote version one is better than version zero so unless you've got something you've got nothing to build upon whereas you know once you've got something you go okay i can improve that bit that bit that bit grant cardone said a, a classic thing well when you're kind of growing a business and a website let the market or let your customers and let the people say in your audience sort of tell you how to change things don't worry about say the font or the size of the pictures on your website if no one else is saying anything about them your main concern at first is getting people to the website getting traffic to the website if then people start to say nah. I can't really read your text because the font's too small then make the font bigger or make it clearer or make the pictures bigger whatever it is but don't worry about doing all this fancy stuff and fonts and logos and all that kind of until it's a problem and it's not a problem unless you've got people coming to the website so that's your first thing is get people to the website not what color the website is and please 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 if when you are starting a business please please do not get hung up on a logo so many people they go well i'm going to start a business whether it's you know, dog walking um fashion whatever and they spend so much time just fluffing over the logo the logo does not matter that's kind of way down the list it really doesn't matter the name the logo and all this kind of superficial crap because people think you need to have this to start a business you don't at all that's the sort of my thing is is like i always go on you know do something that you're passionate about something whatever it is doesn't matter if you're passionate about something you're going to follow that through on the in the difficult times who cares about a logo that really doesn't matter i don't have a logo logo because it doesn't matter you know I can kind of put pull something together if I need to but there's a logo does not matter it's completely irrelevant to the success of a business or anything like that yes McDonald's have got a logo Nike's got a logo but they're not famous they're not successful because of the logo they're successful because of what they do that's the point coming back to the whole perfectionist thing you know so worrying about you know I'm, until I've got the perfect logo until I've got the perfect name and catchphrase and all that stuff don't worry about only that crap get things good enough so you can kind of go to market or whatever you're doing do the garden so it's good enough so it's not in a crappy state you've got a good enough garden and then you can improve it now here's the big kind of thing this doesn't sit in a sort of uh, contradictory way to go in all in and obsessed often it can be confused going all in and obsessed on something with being a perfectionist they're completely different things but they do sit on either side of a fine line so you're doing it ideally till it's good enough but the effort you put in to get it to that is all in you know obsessed do it do it do it do it until it's good enough doesn't mean you have to keep going to be a perfectionist but you still put the effort in 
until it's good enough and then go all in on working out how to improve it go all in on improving yourself and learning whatever the thing is you're doing and that's the difference going all in is the effort you're putting in and good enough is where you have to go to and then sort of stop and then you can look at improving and all that sort of stuff very passionate very passionate about this yes go all in be obsessed with whatever it is you're doing but be mindful of the fact that it's not about perfectionism it's about getting the job done doing enough so it's functional or doing enough so it's yeah, it's good enough basically you don't have to yearn for that perfectionism because one you almost never get there and two it's it's no point because it's not necessary pretty much all successful businesses never sort of waited until they were perfect they kind of just went live did stuff made a bit of a mess cleaned it up and kind of improve 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 and you go along like that it's not about hitting the ground day one with your logo your not your nice catchphrase your business cards your letterheaded paper your lovely font and pictures on the website that's all lovely if you spend all your time doing that and then no one's coming to the website or no one's coming and buying anything from you as a business you're gonna go broke very quickly spend your time making it just good enough and put all your time effort resources money into the things that matter like your service your passion your kind of what you actually delivering as a as a thing whether it's a service or a product put all your time and effort and money and passion into that not the fluffing about with sort of logos and, and all that missing about and being a perfectionist there we go. So I hope you got some value from this. That's it for today. If you have, as usual, Ooh. smack that like button till it's nice and blue. And subscribe if you haven't. I really do appreciate it. And hit the bell notification so you know when I've got a new video coming out. And for now, passion. Don't be a perfectionist. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.